What's going on guys, Mr. J here with another video today. I'm going to show you how to access the Triton Student Portal. This is for anyone enrolled in Triton College. It is a very simple process to do as long as you follow my directions as I tell you. The first thing we're going to do is go onto the Triton website and go onto my Triton Portal. And as you can see here, there are two options on the screen. One is for reset and one is to log in. And the first thing we're going to do is go on to lock up account and reset password. You're going to click on that option and again, you're going to see this new to web advisor thing on the screen. You're going to click OK on that and you're going to enter in your last name and your social security number and the options right there in the boxes. Next, after you've done that, you're going to see your user ID. You're going to need to write that down on a piece of paper. And then you're going to select an email address to which you're going to receive your password reset. You're going to need to save that information for later on. After you select an email address, you will go ahead and click on submit. And then you will need to go ahead and log in into your email. And then after you've logged into your email, the try and email password reset should look a little bit something like this. You will need to write down the new password and save that on a piece of paper. After you've done that, you will click on OK on the middle of the screen when you go back to the try and website and click on students, click on login, and it's going to give you the option to enter in your username and password. After you've entered in your username and password, the change password page should come up. Uh, next up, I would go ahead and uh, change the password. Uh, change it to something that you would remember and also uh, save this information along with your user ID. So for the next time you log in, you would have no problems accessing your student portal. After you've done that, uh, you should be able to access your My Student Portal. And it should look a little bit something like this. Uh, a little news feed in the middle, student corner on the left, and the links on the right side. And that's pretty much it. That's how you pretty much uh, access the student portal. And that will be it for this video. If you found this helpful, you can give a like rating down below. And uh, for more videos like this on tutorials, on technology, or anything like that, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.